What is next? Fever dreams. Okay. This is gonna go well. Why is it the haunted room? Is it usually the haunted room? If you just hear, like, if you sometimes hear haunted noises in the background, that's my tumble dryer, by the way. It keeps on going every, like, 15 minutes or something. <laughs> Forgot to turn it off. <laughs> um, you missed it. Who was it? It was the dad. We absolved him. Don't worry. We told him to go to Stockholm or wherever he was going with his daughter. And he thanked us and he was really nice. <laughs> it was all good. Uh, yeah, is it a coincidence that this is Ghost Room or is the next case in Ghost Room? It's got to be cult time, right? This should be the final case. And Alice has got to be involved. Not forgetting, there's no more faces in our book. Holmes, at last you're back. We can't find Kate. What? She went for her lesson, but the teacher says that Kate never arrived. Mrs. Hudson! She's gone out to ask around the neighborhood. She's been kidnapped by Alice. Uh-oh. Or maybe she's just willingly gone. Um, because she doesn't like us. <laughs> she's sick of us. What a lovely murderer. Would let him get away with it again. <laughs> ten out of ten. Okay, Alice has been stolen. Or did she run away? Probably. You know what? Probably. Kate, are you here? Uh, Kate? Kate? Where's Toby? 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 Where's Toby? Toby? Kate. She's taken Toby. This is unacceptable. Uh, build a character pro portrait by paying attention. She's taken Toby. He's off partying! Yeah. <laughs> she better treat him well. She was writing something here. A diary. Missing writing. They took a diary. Diary taken. Okay. Okay, the panic. The panic. She didn't take a teddy, though. She's left a book open. Haunted book? Look at the page. I think she's kidnapped Kobe. Party is over. <laughs> Room evidence. Yeah, I like this. Why was it left open? She's ran away. She took all of her favorites. She took her favorites. She's ran. I don't think she's been kidnapped. Oh, wait, were those doggos there before? What happened here? Suitcase. She packed it. Why would she take her suitcase? He packed her things and left. I don't understand. Oh god. Oh, What's we're that? gonna pass out. The sound came from Alice's room. Alice! Kate! Kate! Oh no, we're not imagining things again, are we? You never do anything right! We're in imagination, I don't know land. Is this going to be our own fever dream? Yeah, did we take heroin or opium? Did we relapse? Where did this... Wait, where did this axe come from? I want to axe open a door. Alice, where is my daughter? Your daughter? You don't have one, Mr. Holmes. You never did. What? Slap! <laughs> my God! My daughter, what did you do to her? What you could never do, I made her happy. 
I want to slap her so much, but that'll get us in trouble. I don't care what you think. Where is Kate? You fool. You're useless to her. Why even bother? No, we're not doing it. Holmes, this is useless. She won't talk. I'll make her talk. We don't need her. Just use your skill. I'll take care of her. What are you going to do, Watson? Take care of her? Okay, we are stressed. You stupid cult room. Um, imaginary drug acts. Uh, is he... Why, why is he asking? Why did I just walk through a graveyard to get here? Very strange. Hmm. Use my skills. Slapping clearly isn't our skills. Why have you knocked your chair over? I remember this place from my last visit. It's different now. Something was taken from here. The doll is still here. The picture of her dad? We need to torment her about her dad. Grimoire. Oh yeah, the book's gone too. Hold on then. <laughs> he couldn't give her a good bunkin. Who <laughs> Watson? Like this. No, no, my choice is not entirely correct. Oh right, hold on. No, no, my choice is not entirely correct. Oh, what am I doing? Candles, right. The candles are still there. Well, they've melted, but you know. Maybe that means something? Oh, here. Table of practice. I think I have to go around the whole room. Identifying things. Like, his picture was on here, too. Oh, and the phonograph. No, no, my choice is not entirely correct. Okay. Well, keep looking then. The wheelchair's gone. Oh, Watson, you fucker! Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Scared the living daylights out of me. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I was... <sighs> okay. Stupid boy. <laughs> There's no need. Yeah, we're looking for changes. God, now I am actually sweating. Okay, the shutters are still on the window. You're back on the Elden Road. Wonderful. No, my choice is not entirely correct. Oh, the cradle is gone. At least I knew she was going to be there. No, my choice is not entirely correct. Oh, the mirror. This is now a clock. What have you been doing to this room, you strange lady? Oh, the wheelchair's here now. It's moved. No, my choice is not entirely. But I don't know if I need to. If I'm looking for missing things or just things that have changed. Oh, this is cool, actually. Quite creepy. Oh. This is what I heard from upstairs. I'm sure that was just to get our attention. <laughs> we found Watson! <laughs> After that time that he just left us for an entire case and now he's just like, I'm here. <laughs> uh, we were looking for the noise. Yes. Oh, so, right. This is where the clock was. I just, I'm not sure. My choice is not entirely correct. What my choice is supposed to be? Yeah, like. So, right. The, the clock is still here. It's just move. 
The wheelchair is also still here. It's just move. No, my choice is not entirely correct. Uh, I could press F1 to help. See if it tells me. She really has been renovating the room. Maybe it's the ghosts. Oops. Uh, what's the button? Q. No, no. My choice is not entirely F. correct. Do I click on the vase? No. Puncher! We've selected the mirror. Is the mirror here before? Oh, the mirror's over here before. Maybe I need to not select the mirror. I don't know if it's just everything that's different. No, my choice is not entirely correct. Um, do I have to include the candles that have melted? Hmm. Oh, does it? That's a good, good idea. Holmes returns late one evening. Uh, to encounter a traumatized Watson, something terrible has happened. Find Kate, Sir Chalice's room. If we're looking for the missing things, William Hamilton's portrait. Oh, maybe the book is somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> this is not helpful. It's searched. No, no, my choice is not entirely correct. I'm gonna press F1. Select the objects that have disappeared since your last visit. You can deselect previously selected items if you find them to be incorrect. We're looking for things that have disappeared. So, right, the book seems to be gone. Okay, so right, would you say the candles have disappeared? Is that what it is? No, my choice is not entirely correct. The portrait's gone. The phonograph's gone. Oh wait, the the cradle hasn't gone. The cradle's still here. Portrait of I got Alice's it. Father, it was Hamilton, the cradle. And some items required to conduct a seance are missing. The candles also seem to count. <laughs> they are here in burnt form. Exactly, the wax is there on the ground. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I. Since it was things that were still here, I deselected the clock and the mirror and the wheelchair, but I forgot about the cradle. Um, okay. What am I doing now? Am I talking to Alice? I guess so. Am I slapping Alice? Probably. Expression angry. What have you got to be angry with me about? It's not my fault you're in a cult. Morning clothes. Oh, is this an anniversary of a dad's death? Oh, I did have a theory while I was offline. This is the devil's daughter. We arrested her dad for being a crime lord. He could have been the devil. You know? Train ticket. Visited Highgate Station. Ah, huh, well that's a mistake you've made. So she sent Kate away on a train? Use chalk? Is she pretended to be a ghost on a chalkboard? Watson's just like got his weapon out? Wielding? Has she sacrificed your daughter to summon her dad? Oh no! <laughs> Holding those tickets in her hand just like you do. Exactly. Thank you lady for giving me a clue. Maybe she was the one who poisoned all those people. Maybe she's been a psycho her whole life? You did wonder if she did since she survived. 
Hmm. She's angry because her dad was killed when she was younger and you let the killer get away with it because he needed to save his daughter. We did... Okay, we didn't kill him though, did we? Because I just started thinking, is she Alice... Uh, is she Kate's sister? Because we killed Kate's dad. Did we kill her dad? And then they, is it their dad the same person? But no. Maybe she's jealous of Kate because... We tried to help her after ruining her life, whereas we didn't help Alice after ruining hers. Um... Don't get too confused! <laughs> Giraffe is describing the past case! I can't remember it! <laughs> oh, wait! The one we literally just did? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Okay, what have we got? The one <laughs> the one we just did. Oh my god. Brain. Keep up. Seance with father. Alice might have performed a spirit spiritual seance to talk to her father, William Hamilton. Yes. Morning clothes. Take it to thingy place. Cemetery visit. Oh, there's a possibility that Alice visited the Highgate Cemetery before returning to Baker Street. I think we were walking through the cemetery as a metaphor for all the skeletons in our closet. Family crypt. Alice may have visited Highgate Cemetery this morning to the crypt of her father. Has she left Caitlin in the crypt where she performed spiritual seance in order to talk to him did she take kate with her as well oh boy the lead goes to the cemetery watson keep an eye on her i feel like there's a name there like caitlin like caitlin crip person <laughs> i don't know <laughs> I, it feels like a place where she might be they've got similar letters in their name um this will not change anything, Mr. Holmes. I want to slap her. But with no consequence. I was frightened in case we, like, bruised her and then we get a bad ending because of it. Because, like, I'm not absolving her. I'll stay here with Alice. Is this not a crime, though, also? Just, like, holding your gun, like, staying in her flat? I suppose if she's kidnapped you, your friend's daughter, maybe not. Kate, are you here? Whoa, that was a fast travel. Oh, we were oh, we were flashing, like flashing back, like no, flashing forward. The walk through the cemetery was us trying to find Kate. It wasn't linear. Oh, I found the seance. Yeah, not, don't flash in a cemetery, please. Kate, what did she do to you? Nobody ever flash in a cemetery. Like, if you're going to flash anywhere, do it at, like, a sports game or something. <laughs> then it'll be funny. <laughs> don't do it in a cemetery, though. On the crossing. Uh, are these real skulls? Are these the skulls? Of the people that you killed? Okay, the seance. Is he. There's the suitcase. Right, hold on then. On the crossing. On the crossing. We can't read this. And find the crypt. And find the crypt. Alexander Orkengard. Margaret Hamilton. Henry Hamilton. Hold on. Died 18th of January 68. Margaret Hamilton died 4th of December 57. 15 years. Margaret Hamilton. Is that. Uh, did she have a sister? Go to the old cemetery. Or is that a mum? Go to the old cemetery. Of four others. Hold on. Maybe we'll remember all Trampled these. By feet. 
Trampled by feet? Felled by bullets. What on earth is happening? Alice brought them to perform the ritual. Okay. <clears throat> no one proves of flashing. No. <laughs> yeah. Only flash your behind. Don't flash forwards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're learning new things. You love my Elden Ring. Yay, Black Hole. That's good. Um. Who lights that many castles? Wait, was there something to do with castles being lit? Those candles have been alight for almost three hours. Oh, candles, not castles. <laughs> was that your question? <laughs> That's where Alice's father was buried. <laughs> candles. Okay, yeah, this is many candles. She must have had, like, some sort of advanced candle lighting mechanism to be able to light them all before the first one burned out. Oh, I see some that aren't lit, though. She missed some. So James Crabb, William Hamilton. Oh, Henry Hamilton is a different Hamilton. Kimberly Johnson. Daniel Hamilton, Edward Hamilton, Ruth Hamilton. Okay, I don't know this lady's family tree. Earth digging giant. Earth digging giant? Kate's diary. Oh, let's read it. I mean, this is a crime. You shouldn't read people's diaries, but, you know, especially not your daughter's, but... All right, then. <laughs> I'm with Alice at the cemetery. We are going to speak to her father. The ceremony scares me, of course, but I'm excited, too. I shouldn't allow myself to feel scared, as what is to follow will be even scarier. That's a good reason to not be scared. She is so beautiful. She has prepared the candles, the portrait. She looks so relaxed. I cannot prevent myself from trembling. She begins. She calls him. She is turning in on herself. And she is muttering. I cannot understand that she speaks a strange language. She is holding chalk sticks in both of her hands. I am trembling. I cannot help it. Her eyes are white. Her movements are convulsive. As one in those... One in the throes of death. She doesn't see me. She begins to speak as him, and it's horrible. I want to cry. She is writing everywhere with both sticks of chalk. So she's doing that spirit writing thing? Hmm. Where do we find him, father? Oh no, stop! Alice, my daughter. Alice? I know the answer. Oh my to god. Oh, I hate it. I can't believe that Alice made my little girl go through all this. Damned woman! Oh god. We are annoyed. Uh, on the floor in an accessible location, yeah. Scholar of Rhodes. These writings constitute a single message, a guide. Yeah, we're gonna follow the guide. Wait, is this Alice? Are you in here? Kate! Kate! Excuse me! Oh my god. It's Alice's father mummified. I found a mummy. I'm so scared! In the district. <laughs> oh yeah, I missed. <laughs> I thought Kate would have been in here, and then there was a man, and I thought he was a ghost, and then he turned out to be a mummy. <laughs> Please tie the mummy to the chair for safety. That is a good idea, Crafty. We should really do that. <laughs> oh, Alice's mummy. Pretty sure that's her daddy. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> snake nests. Snake nests and conspiracy. In the district of St. Victor, while in the act of demolishing an old house, masons have uncovered a nest of snakes which spawned upwards a hundred of squirming reptiles. 
These reptiles did inhabit the bottom of a well long since dried up. We've read this before. In the middle of the snake nest, there was a skeleton of a child who had likely plunged down the well to his or her death. Surprisingly, the skeleton in question was still holding a red Morocco portfolio, much disintegrated apart from one legible strip of paper which read, Do not reveal the plot. Is she an actor? Is the child Kate somehow time travel? <laughs> I hope not. I'm wondering... Oh no, because that would mean that was Alice and that also wouldn't work. There would also have to be time travel. <laughs> if ghost possession is real, why not time travel? Maybe it was Alice's best friend in acting school and the seances her acting. There's a plot. Hmm. Why is there a mummy here? Why does the mummy have a whip? Salas's father mummified. Is that a whip? Why are we just stood right over him like? <laughs> oh, there's a bed here. Oh, freak. Alice sleeps here. She doesn't sleep in a chair looking at a bed. She sleeps here with her dead dad. She is... she's got issues. Madam Destiny? Madam Destiny. Cult. A map of British rivers. Why? For escape routes? A storm lap. Alice keeps her father's belongings in this room, even the canteen from his boat. Oh. Alice is not merely peculiar, she is mentally ill. I hope Kate didn't see this. This witch. Alice, she brought my daughter even further. They followed this direction in, in this message. They went to the old cemetery. Okay, well, I did see a sign for the old cemetery outside. Yeah, that's worse. Yep. Oh, God. She's unpredictable. Um. Oh, right. Not in a chair. That would be weird. <laughs> yep. Okay, sir. Music, chill out, please. Sir, I am going to ask you not to leave. Could you just stay there, please? Just, just... Just hang there. Please. Okay. Kate's suitcase. Why did she leave it here? I forgot to look at the suitcase before, but it's okay. I found, found the diary. So Kate was alive when Alice started writing all of this stuff. That's something. Please do not move whatsoever, sir. Maybe you can lock the door so he doesn't leave. I wish we could. We also can't even close this door well because we busted it open with an axe. I thought it just closed itself behind us there. Okay, it's time to go to the old cemetery. This way. Is Kate going to be in a coffin? Is she being buried alive? Are we going to rescue her with a shovel? Have the tides turned for the shovel? I mean, these grave places are all above ground, oh, though. Oh, no. I found another tomb. Inspect the cemetery crypts. Find and select four, which are referred to in Alice's message. Use imagination to visualize them. Okay. Go to the old cemetery. Oh, he's put them in the right order for us. Okay. Thank you. Um, You still need to play Thimbleweed for shovel redemption? <gasps> okay, I do. It's, it's definitely a game that I think I own. So it's definitely not anything. I'm pretty sure if it's on my list in Discord, then I own it. Go to the old cemetery and find the crypt on the crossing of four others. Felled by bullet, scholar of roads, earth digging giant trampled by feet. So do these I need to recall some facts about certain famous people buried in this cemetery. Oh, so how did he die? 
Painter of portrait miniatures had three younger brothers from Oxford. Mm, probably not any of these. This is a cool puzzle. Um, seven feet tall. Owned a collection of Romano... Romano British remains archaeologist William Shaw. This is one of them. This is this. What was he called? Giant grave digger or something. Earth digging giant. That's the one. Seven feet. How do you get that many shoes? <laughs> Unnamed crypt. Kate, you in here? Alright, thankfully Sherlock's got a better memory than I do, so that's good. Oh, we can't go up here. Okay. John Braithwaite had lush whiskers, grandson of Archbishop, governor of Jamaica, had lush whiskers? Oops, no, 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 that wasn't it. E. So we're looking for someone who was shot. A scholar of roads and trampled by feet. So I don't think it was this one. What, like, what kind of feet do you think the trampling was? Was it elephant? Unnamed crypt. Geoffrey Travis resigned his post, Chief Justice of Ceylon, English barrister. I don't know what that means. Probably not. Botanist died of typhus in Beirut, educated at Eton College. A scholar of Rhodes, would that be some like a mapographer? Amateur boxer, prominent fish merchant, Irish by birth. No. Explorer was killed by an elephant. New Arabic and Chinese. Trampled by feet? Was it actually elephant feet? I did I nail it? <laughs> okay. He could also be a scholar of Rhodes if he's like explored and knew other languages. I am quite chuffed with my elephant prediction. Although I'm running out of crypts. Someone's shot. Cartographer! This is the scholar of roads. Preferred coffee. Produced a map of all Rager roads in England. Archibald Irwin. Get on the team. I choose you. Why is this tree glowing? This tree. Oh, the moon. The moon is beaming down on that tree. So we're now just looking for someone that's been shot. Come on, friends. Where are you? Oh dear, um, I've missed one somewhere. What's typhus? That's not a disease by bullet, is it? Felled by bullet. The tree is mooning me! <laughs> it's flashing! The nerve of that tree! Um... Noob, have you found whoever we need to change spirits? No? Maybe? No. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Probably not. What is their name? Disease by bullet, what are you asking? Like, there could be a disease that people got killed by because they 
like maybe people didn't go to the hospital to get bullets removed or something <laughs> so like a specific disease that was named from being like metal poisoning <laughs> oh maybe it was this guy the guy who was shot in a duel i think he could have been felt by a bullet henry anthony evans the legend a londoner who loved gambling but this time he really lost the what's the word what's the phrase for losing your winning streak well he died basically <laughs> He lost the biggest bet of his life. There we go. If I was more um, scholarly, I could have thought of that. I thought you were just mixing two sentences completely. <laughs> there was some form of noob logic between that. Okay, so what? It's one of these. No, these are the ones that we think. So we are looking for a crypt on the crossing between these four. What does that mean on the crossing? Can we have a bird's eye view? Like, does that mean if you connected that one and that one? And that one and that one? The bit that would be in the middle? It's this one, right? Because that there, and that there, it passes through this line, and that there, and that there, passes through this line, and we almost just got a view inside! <laughs> it's gotta be this one. Oh, hold on, I can press Q. Oh, there's my bird's eye view. Um, yep, I've, I've already figured this out. You know, I'm, I am Sherlock Holmes, I'm on this. <laughs> Pretty sure it's losing your winning streak. <laughs> oh, you haven't found them either. What do you mean by change change spirits? What do you mean by that? I'm not sure what you mean. Um <laughs> Easy mode, yeah. Do you just have to walk until they all until they seem to be all around? That, Kate, that was Kate. my bad. <laughs> 